Hey, what's up, everybody? Your boy Concessional here, and today <clears throat> I finally have a working copy. No, uh, this is my second copy, but I spent some time with it, you know, about like a week just to see if it's 100% working, and it is actually. Um, you know, this is just an update review, you know, to summarize everything and give you my final con uh, the conclusion, you know, my final say about the product, wh whether you should buy it or not. <clears throat> Again, guys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, if you buy a mouse on release date, chances are you might run into some problem. Unfortunately, we did. There is, there is a defect on my first copy, which is normal, you know, my beloved Orochi version 2 <clears throat> had issues uh, with some other people fortunately for me when I bought it on release I did not have any problems with it you know but some people did they had problems with the skates being uneven you know the G Pro X super scam where they put the Omron 50Ms and they did not run it you know at the proper voltage or whatever causing it to double click not technically sure about that but you know stuff like that happens but my second copy however has been pretty great you know no skipping no jittering flawless it's like a wired mouse without the wire that's how it performs you know flawless 3370 sensor i really love this and the implementation with the battery of this mice is actually beautiful you know i've been using it for two days and it's been at 80 percent now or sorry more than way more than two days like uh four five days without charging i've only managed to use uh 20 of the battery the battery saving of this mice is actually insane you know it's probably super light level or better even with the light on um this sensor this mouse is actually really really good you know the the way the mcu works and the sensor you know it really like this 3370 sensor is actually a battery saver and a top performer as well <clears throat> um you know um being nitpicky here the cons that i could think of this of this mice is probably the the coating you know i think i wish they would have made this uh textured textured or maybe pbt coating but i'm not sure about that asus might have that patented but you know i'm not exactly sure about that you know could could have been a better coding to be honest um scroll wheel i just wish they added like a i just wish they added like a bigger wheel maybe a few inches maybe up to there would be perfect for me also the color i I believe that they should have added like a white scroll wheel for the white variant. That'd be really sick. White white wheel with like a white rubber and then black wheel on the inside. That'd be really sick. But I might do some modding. Um, yeah, actually, give me a second. I'm gonna disassemble the mouse uh, for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like inside. There you go. Um, all you need to do to remove it is uh, grab a little flathead and where my thumb thumb is. Um, hold on, I'm working with one hand here. You want to like lift the skates up. And by the way, you can reuse them, you know. The way they implemented the skates is actually pretty good. You can reuse them if, uh, you know, you have reason to open the mice. Just the bottom skate though, remove the bottom skates. There's two screws here, one, two, and then there's two clips on the side one two and there's actually two clips oh fuck i dropped it one second you know i have a he and mid and it's just really really smooth might be the coating of the mice but there's two clips at the top of the mice so you guys can see and this is what it looks like so you guys can see the kale gm switches right there um let me remove the scroll wheel. Can I do it with one hand? Wait, I think I need to. Hold on. 
yeah I need to remove the PCB unfortunately in order to remove the scroll wheel but it uses a Huano blue switch right there if you hope you guys can see it with the mouse uh, mouse 3 Huano blue switch there to KLGM 8.0s on the main switch uh, what is that it uses an F switch encoder MWK tactile switches in my opinion my personal opinion probably the best size switches uh, alongside TTC Golds uh, based on my preference I really love these tactile switches 300 milliamp lithium ion battery 3370 sensor at the bottom overall guys um, the, the implementation of this mice is actually pretty great you know it's probably it's probably being slept on right now you know <clears throat> again I am not a big youtuber and my words can only influence or convince some other people or few people that this is by far the best lightweight super lightweight ergonomic mice ergonomic wireless mice that your money can buy at the moment and a price tag of 75 US dollars or 95 Canadian dollars you can never go wrong with this mice you know and by the way like I said I only have 40 subs at the moment you know and Pulsar did not send me a product or sponsored me this video I paid for this shit I right? and <clears throat> sorry about my language you know just being real with y'all this is just way too good for the price you know what I'm saying like you know if I were to rank all the ergo mices out there for the for the lightweight options I mean you have options now you know if you're looking for like a super lightweight you know a little bit lighter not super light even like 58 grams without the grips or whatever maybe plus one minus one offset or plus two not sure um, this is your only option right now or maybe the mm731 but I don't really care about the mm731 the mm731 it's kind of sus, you know. Being real, I don't really know what Cooler Master's Q's issue is. I have never used a Cooler Master mice before, but you know, based on how they market it and how it looks, it's basically just a Ninjutsu Origin 1X clone with optical switches and PTFE skates, you know, even though the Origin 1X has PTFE skates. The only difference between the two that's like your only choice for super lightweight if you're talking about six 60 grams flat or below that the, these are like the only your only two options the or uh, mm731 or this mice and why I prefer this mice over the mm731 even without trying I just want to point this out real quick one of the main differences aside from the switches and the godly side buttons of this mice is the sensor position and you guys know me, I'm a player, top 1% NA Dota 2 player, immortal rank for how many years? You know, level 7 face at CSGO, immortal Valorant, two, le, two, rank 2000 peak. I'm a player before a reviewer, and me being honest, th the implementation of the sensor, it's a centered position sensor. This is great for hybrid meaning you use your wrist or arm to aim or simply just using your arm to aim if you play low sense this is it but the M731 on the other hand has a front forward position sensor a front position sensor which is gonna be on top of this like maybe right here where the thing is and that is good for wrist aimers I prefer that mice because your movement is your mouse movement is way more pronounced this is the fr at the front of the mice just like the Orochi version 2 that is a perfect implementation of a a wrist aimers mice you know the Orochi version 2 but you can also use it for arm aiming if you want to you know it's just way more preferred in my own opinion if you're a wrist aimer because of the front forward position sensor sensor or a finger and that uses a uh, fingertip aim or even claw if you wish 
but for the cent centered uh, position sensor, it's better to it's better for majority of the people who claw their mice or play relaxed claw and aim with their arm or whatever. But you know, that's just me. You know, that's just my take on it. But personally, this is well built, well priced. You know, it, super light doesn't even come close to this. You know, I don't know what's the hype what the hype is about they they say that the super light has the perfect weight balancing this one is like we opened it earlier so you guys can see the batteries in the middle switches at the top there's really nothing behind the mice so the the weight distribution is like centered to front and there's really almost nothing at the back side of the mice which is whatever i mean look at this You know, I feel like it's centered, you know what I mean? Which is which is good, you know. I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, it's good. I, it doesn't bother me, you know. That's how it's supposed to be. I like my weight distribution centered. You know, I don't know how the super light differs from this. It honestly To be honest, the super light feels lighter even though mine weighs 62 grams. Uh this one weighs 59 grams, but you know, that might be a placebo effect. Again, that's just the weight uh balancing or whatever that they did that is actually pretty great about it you know that mice feels lighter even though this one is actually lighter i don't know it's it's a fucking weird fucking scenario or situation i don't want to talk about it but again guys i'm pretty happy with my purchase and i highly recommend this mice you know it's the best ergo mice out there at the moment i don't know about model d you know people are talking about the hattie s not interested but yeah that's all it, 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 it has my recommendation it passes the vibe check 100 percent you know if you're looking for a super lightweight ergo mice get this mice if you want something with weight get the compro air or the death adder v2 that's all i'm gonna say that's like you only have a few choices right now you know in comparison to like an FK shape or a symmetrical a symmetrical mice you can only have so many choices when it comes to like an ergo mice but this is just insane for $75 you know I would have paid 95 or some shit but you know hey man that's just me um, that's all there is to it guys you know I gotta go I gotta practice um, if you like the content Please leave me a like and sub, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I am going to be reviewing the Hot ES, uh, if I could find one in stock maybe, because yeah, it reminds me of the Viper Mini, and I like the Viper Mini. But other than that, we might have to wait for the Model D, see if I can find an MM731. Uh, but for now guys, stay safe, peace.